welcome back to Learn with Mednuggets. In this video, we will be talking about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is the most common form of motor neuron disease. It's a progressive neurodegenerative disease that destroys neurons of the brain and spinal cord. Amyotrophic comes from the Greek language. A means no. Myo is muscle. Trophic means nourishment. So amyotrophic means no muscle nourishment. And when a muscle has no nourishment, it atrophies or wastes away. Lateral refers to the areas in a person's spinal cord where portions of the neurons that signal and control the muscles are located. As this area degenerates, it leads to scarring or hardening of the skin in that region, which we call sclerosis. ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease because ALS ended the career of Lou Gehrig, who is one of baseball's most beloved players who played with the New York Yankees for 17 years. Most people who develop ALS are between 40 and 70 years of age with an average age of 55 at the time of diagnosis. The etiology of ALS is unknown, but a subset of cases appears to be inherited. ALS can present with a mixture of upper motor neuron, lower motor neuron and brainstem findings. Upper motor neurons run from the brain to the brainstem or spinal cord. Lower motor neurons begin in the spinal cord and go on to innervate muscles and glands of our body. Degeneration of upper motor neurons can lead to symptoms such as increased tone, increased reflexes, ankle and patella clonus, and extensive plantar response. Degeneration of lower motor neurons can lead to symptoms such as decreased tone, diminished or absent reflexes, flexor plantar response, wasting and fasciculations. An easy way I use to remember the upper and lower motor neuron symptoms is upper is going up or increasing, right? So in upper motor neuron symptoms, everything will increase. Your reflexes will increase, tone will increase, your muscles will become more rigid and spastic, your plantars will be upgoing. Whereas lower means decreasing, right? So everything including your tone and reflexes will decrease and your muscles will become wasted. ALS can also cause dysphagia and dysarthria due, due to the involvement of bulba muscles. People with bulba onset ALS have a poorer prognosis in comparison to people with limp onset ALS because bulba onset ALS can lead to dysphagia or difficulty to swallow food which can increase the risk of aspiration. Aspiration pneumonia is one of the most common causes of death in ALS patients. Dysphagia can also make it difficult to eat and this can become a major problem in ALS patients because people with ALS burn calories at a much faster rate than normal people. Fatigue from ALS can also lead to eating less food and less often. Therefore, dysphagia can cause rapid weight loss in these patients and make them easily malnourished. Around 15 to 45 percent of people with ALS experience emotional lability, which refers to uncontrolled and inappropriate crying or laughing, although it is often not recognized as part of ALS. ALS is mainly a clinical diagnosis. Nerve conduction studies and needle electromyography are useful for confirming the diagnosis of ALS. Genetic testing may be performed to identify genetic defects in some familial types of ALS. Muscle biopsy may be considered if the presentation of ALS is atypical. Imaging such as MRI of the brain and spinal cord and lab tests can be performed to rule out other diseases. Most ALS patients die from respiratory weakness and aspiration pneumonia. ALS can be managed with non-invasive ventilation for patients with breathing problems. 
percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy for patients with feeding problems and drugs such as rilusol and edrovon. It's also important to refer these patients to a multidisciplinary clinic to optimize healthcare delivery, improve survival and quality of life of these patients. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.